Hi everyone, I'm Sophie. And I'm Alex. And, and we, we are, are the Science Kids. Kids. Today is an amazing day for us, and we hope it's a great day for you too. Can you guess what day it is? It's, it's Earth, Earth Day. To celebrate Earth Day, we are here at the World of Science in Vancouver, Canada. It is a very important day because this is the this is our home and home to millions of species of beautiful plants and animals. In fact, every day should be Earth Day. We have chosen this one so we can show why we need to protect our beautiful blue planet. Fortunately, they're destroying our home. We have done more damage to this planet in the last few decades than in the past thousand years. Because of the pollution caused by factories, cars, methane gas from factory farming, and the release of CFCs which are found, or chlorofluorocarbons, which are found in refrigerators and canned propellants such as hairspray, we have damaged the ozone layer, which was there for protecting us from the ultraviolet caused by the sun. Exactly. In fact, the temperature has been, has increased at record rates. In fact, the average temperature in the past few years has been the greatest in any year in our history. This has led to melting of the ice, which this has led to the melting of the ice caps, which will soon lead to a much faster heating of the air and the ocean. Speaking of that, the warming of the ocean, along with the pollutants added to it, has caused the change in the temperature and the acidity of the ocean to change incredibly, which has caused the first ever mass death of fish and coral reefs. On top of that, every year we kill over 20 billion fish, which will eventually lead to almost all the fish gone by the year 2050. And on land, we have completely destroyed the animal kingdom. It has been found that by the year 2050, 90% of the animals that are alive right now will be extinct. That's sad and a bit scary, but it's up to us kids to bring awareness of this. And that is the whole point of Earth Day. If we don't change our ways, we might not have this planet for long. In fact, recovery is in our own hands. We can start by using less plastics and more renewable resources. Renewable resources are just resources that never run out, like rainwater, wind, sun, geothermal, which is just heat that comes from the earth, and so on. Non-renewable resources are resources that eventually will, that will eventually run out, like oil and gas, and, and will eventually and don't break down, like plastics. The more we use non-renewable resources, the more we damage the earth. So bits and pieces of plastics can really hurt animals. We all need to join this wonderful fight to save our planet, but not only by lowering our footprint, which means to cause less damage, but by helping improving our habits and helping others in their effort to make this planet a better place. So happy Earth Day, and let's all join our most important fight, which is to save our wonderful planet. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for our next few videos. Don't forget to check our website shown below. And as always, science is everywhere and in everything. Bye! Bye.